How would I describe Lensman? It's probably deep soulful music. How long have I been making drum and bass? It's a bit of a, a difficult question to answer because, I mean, I got into drum and bass in like the mid 90s and I was like DJing it first and I was always like interested in production. I guess when I got my, my own setup, when things really started rolling was probably about 2003 maybe. And now the first couple of years, I was just like trying things, messing around and then maybe 2005, 2006, I got a bit more serious. Uh, 2007 I might have got my first couple of bits signed and just, I don't know, it was like a natural progression for me, you know what I mean? Did I make drum and bass at the beginning? Uh, not really, I was like, like in the in the 90s I was a like massive hip hop kid, yeah, that's, I'm still, I still really like it, the older stuff, like the more sort of, I don't know, how would you describe it, like the boom back, like the 90s, sort of underground stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't always drum and bass for me, it was hip hop to start with, and gradually sort of turned into drum and bass, and that became more important in my life. Uh, what's it like being signed to Metalheads is amazing, man. When I first got into drum and bass, right, uh, it was all about like Metalheads, good looking, and like the full circle stuff, the Bristol stuff, right? And um, one of the first nights for like drum and bass nights I ever went to was a blue note for Metalheads, and that really blew my mind. Yeah, I, I, I love being signed to Metalheads, man. I don't know, it represents like musical freedom, it's like a family, it's, I don't know. In terms of labels in, in drum and bass, it's unique in, in, in like the longevity it's had, and like it's, it, it, it was relevant like in the, in the 90s, early 90s, up to now, it's still relevant now, you know what I mean? Everyone that that is part of Metalheads now is like me, Jube, Ulterior Motive, Mikhail, everyone, we, we're all really close, you know what I mean? Goldie's like, he's like a dad almost, you know what I mean? He's just like keeping everything together, He's got an opinion about everything, he helps us out, he's got ideas about everything, he's, it's, it's amazing to work with someone like, like Goldie who's been, I mean, he's such a creative person, he's so enthusiastic, right? Like, he's been doing this since about 91, 92, and like, someone that's still got so much passion, like 20 years later, it's, I don't know if there's, if there's anyone like that, you know what I mean? It's, it's unbelievable to have someone like that, it's really inspiring. Yeah, yeah. What producers should should you be looking out for? Let me see. Um, I mean, I, I guess like the best producer for me in drum and bass of all time is Calibre. He's got like a new album coming soon. I, like what I've heard of it is it's fucking unbelievable, man. It's mind blowing. Like with Calibre, yeah. Like I don't know. He's like. He's someone that every time I hear like any music he's done, it makes me want to stop writing music. But like in terms of new artists, I really rate Ivy Lab. I don't know if you, like they were like responsible for Oblique and recently a tune called Afterthought. I really really rate their music. Uh, Random Movements always someone that I really like like a lot of his music. He's got a lot of soul and funk to it. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to think of people wait, when there's a camera pointed at you, but these people are like people I really rate. Just any, anyone doing soulful stuff, that's me, man. You know what I mean? I'm Lensman and you're watching Wound Up TV. I'll let you see it right through my head. How did I